आईईटी एनसीईआरटी प्रेजेंट्स मोमेंट्स एन इंग्लिश ऑडियो टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ नेरेटेड बाय निवेदिता सरदार नाउ लेट अस लिसन टू लेसन नंबर सेवन द लास्ट लीफ फ्रॉम पेज नंबर फोर्टी फोर टू फोर्टी एट द ऑथर इज ओ हेनरी इंट्रोडक्शन It is autumn. The wind is blowing hard and it is raining heavily. All the leaves on an ivy creeper have fallen except one. Why doesn't the last leaf fall? Let us listen to The Last Leaf. Sue and John C, two young artists, shared a small flat. The flat was on the third story of an old house. John C fell very seriously ill in November. She had pneumonia. She would lie in her bed without moving, just gazing out of the window. Sue, her friend, became very worried. She sent for the doctor. Although he came every day, there was no change in john c's condition one day the doctor took sue aside and asked her is anything worrying john c no replied sue but why do you ask the doctor said john c it seems has made up her mind that she is not going to get well if she doesn't want to live medicines will not help her she would try her best to make john c take an interest in things around her she talked about clothes and fashions but john c did not respond john c continued to lie still on her bed she brought her drawing board into john c's room and started painting to take john c's mind off her illness she whistled while working suddenly sue heard john c whisper something she quickly rushed to the bed and heard john c counting backwards she was looking out of the window and was saying 12 after some time she whispered 11 then 10 then 9 8 seven she anxiously looked out of the window she saw an old ivy creeper climbing halfway up the brick wall opposite their window in the strong wind outside the creeper was shedding its leaves What is it, dear? Sue asked. Six, whispered John C. They are falling faster now. Three days ago, there were almost a hundred leaves. There are only five left now. It is autumn, said Sue, and the leaves will fall. when the last leaf falls i will die said john c with finality i have known this for the last 3 days oh that's nonsense replied sue what have old ivy leaves to do with your getting well the doctor is confident that you will get better John C did not say anything. Sue went and brought her a bowl of soup. "I don't want any soup," said John C. "I am not hungry. Now there are only 4 leaves left. I want to see the last one fall before it gets dark. Then I will sleep forever." 
Sue sat on John C.'s bed, kissed her, and said, You are not going to die. I can't draw the curtain, for I need the light. I want to finish the painting and get some money for us. Please, my dear friend, she begged John C. Promise not to look out of the window while I paint. All right, said John C. Finish your painting soon, for I want to see the last leaf fall. I am tired of waiting. I have to die. So let me go away peacefully, like one of those poor, tired leaves. Try to sleep, said Sue. I have to paint an old miner. I will call Behrman up to be my model. Sue rushes down. Behrman lived on the ground floor. He was a 60-year-old painter. His lifelong dream was to paint a masterpiece. But that had remained a dream. Sue poured out her worries to Behrman. She told him how Chauncey was convinced that she would die when the last leaf fell. Is she stupid? asked Behrman. How can she be so foolish? She is running a high temperature, complained Sue. She refuses to eat or drink and that worries me a lot. I will come up with you and see John C., Behrman said. They tiptoed into the room. John C. was sleeping. Sue drew the curtains together and they went to the next room. She peeped out through the window. There was only one leaf on the creeper. It was raining heavily and an icy cold wind was blowing. It seemed as though the leaf would fall any minute now. Behrman did not say a word. He went back to his room. John C. woke up next morning. In a feeble voice, she asked Sue to draw the curtains. Sue was nervous. She drew back the curtains very reluctantly. Oh! Sue exclaimed as she looked at the vine creeper. Look! There is still one leaf on the creeper. It looks quite green and healthy. In spite of the storm and the fierce winds, it did not fall. I heard the wind last night, said John C. I thought it would have fallen. It will surely fall today. Then I'll die. You won't die, said Sue energetically. You have to live for your friends. What would happen to me if you die? John C. smiled weakly and closed her eyes. After every hour or so, she would look out of the window and find the leaf still there. It seemed to be clinging to the creeper. In the evening, there was another storm, but the leaf did not fall. John C. lay for a long time looking at the leaf. Then she called out to Sue. I have been a bad girl. You have looked after me so lovingly and I have not cooperated with you. I have been depressed and gloomy. The last leaf has shown me how wicked I have been. I have realized that it is a sin to want to die. Sue hugged John C. Then she gave her lots of hot soup and a mirror. 
John C. combed her hair and smiled brightly. In the afternoon, the doctor came. After examining his patient, he told Sue, John C. now has the will to live. I am confident she will recover soon. Now I must go downstairs and see Behrman. He is also suffering from pneumonia. But I am afraid there is no hope for him. The next morning, Sue came and sat on John C.'s bed. Taking John C.'s hand in hers, she said, I have something to tell you. Mr. Behrman died of pneumonia this morning. He was ill for only two days. The first day, the janitor found him on his bed. His clothes and shoes were wet and he was shivering. He had been out in that stormy night. Then they found a ladder and a lantern still lighted lying near his bed. There were also some brushes and green and yellow paints on the floor near the ladder. John C. dear, said Sue, look out of the window. Look at that ivy leaf. Haven't you wondered why it doesn't flutter when the wind blows? That's Behrman's masterpiece. He painted it the night the last leaf fell. Glossary Janitor A person whose job is to look after a building. Think about it. 1. What is John C.'s illness? What can cure her? The medicine or the willingness to live? 2. Do you think the feeling of depression John C. has is common among teenagers. 3. Behrman has a dream. What is it? Does it come true? 4. What is Behrman's masterpiece? What makes Sue say so? Talk about it. Have you ever felt depressed and rejected? How did you overcome such feelings? Share your experience with your classmates. Suggested Reading The Gift of the Magi by O. Henry Dusk by Saki H. H. Munro Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul on Tough Stuff Compiled and edited by Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, Kimberly Kerberger. Moments. You were just listening to this English audio textbook for class 9th, narrated by Nivedita Sardar. Technical direction, Satish Lade. Sound recording, Amita Bhatti and Bati Langlingdo. Assistance in production, Dao Dayal Chaturvedi. Produced and presented by Ramesh Rani Sharma